everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Finally, I'm finally starting it and I'm so, so excited that I am actually doing it now. I have wanted to do YouTube for ever. Yeah, I've wanted to do YouTube for ages and ages and ages. And now finally, I'm actually doing it and I'm so excited to finally be doing it. So this video is um, just going to be a get to know me sort of video um, and I have some questions um, that I'm going to be answering. I think there's about 25 questions that I'm going to be answering um, just so you guys get to know about me a little bit more. Yeah, let's get on. What is your full name? My full name is Chloe Caitlin Sinden. Next one. Um, how old are you? I am 19, I turned 19 on the 19th of November. What is your YouTube channel going to be about? So, my YouTube channel is going to be about mainly beauty, lifestyle and fashion. That's what my YouTube channel is mainly going to be about. There may be some other sort of videos in there. I think that's what it's mainly going to be about. It's definitely mainly around beauty, makeup, fashion, lifestyle because that's what I enjoy doing. Um, the main one will probably be makeup and beauty um, but I will have fashion and lifestyle because I'll be doing some hauls and maybe a lookbook. Um, yeah. Um, so that is what my channel is going to be about. What is your favourite song at the moment? My favourite song at the moment has to be I'll Never Love Again by Lady Gaga from A Star Is Born. I haven't watched the film but hearing Shallow and I'll Never Love Again I have to watch the film. I really really want to watch the film. So that, that is my favourite song at the moment. I have been listening to it on repeat like I'll listen to it in a cover and then I'll listen to it in her version I'll listen to it in another cover her version is obviously the best if you haven't heard the song what are you doing go listen to it it's a great song it's amazing I love it next question we're on question number four are you a shy or an outgoing person um I would say I'm a shy person at the beginning um, so if people first meet me they would probably say that I'm a shy person but the more you get to know me I, I am quite an outgoing person but if I was to meet new people um, I think they would definitely say that I am a shy person because I am always quite shy at the beginning but then when you get to know me I could be quite a fun and crazy person which will probably show on YouTube because obviously this is my first video so I am going to be quite nervous and shy but the more I do the more videos that I do then my outgoing side will come out. Um, do you still live at home? I do still live at home. I live with my mum, my soon-to-be stepdad, my younger brother and my younger sister and I also share a room with my younger sister as well I have shared a room with her for nine years in this room. I love living at home, it's just I have lived in this house my entire life as well, so this house is all I know. I, I love living at home. Do you have any siblings? So yeah, as I've just said, I do have a younger brother and a younger sister, and then I have two older brothers as well. Um, what is your favourite perfume? My favourite perfume at the moment is... My favourite perfume at the moment is this Burberry Brit one, this one, it is incredible, um, I don't know where it was from because I got it from my boyfriend's family for Christmas and yeah it's, it is a great perfume. But this one I have used so much of it already and only a tiny bit has gone so very very good. Who are some of your favourite YouTubers? So there are five, five of my 
favourite people that I watch, I have got a hair, attractive, um, I've got five main people that I watch all the time um, and that is Jordan Lipscomb, she is my all time favourite makeup beauty, I love her, um, and then there's Rachel Leary, I love her, um, Hannah Renee, amazing, beautiful, um, and then I watch Anastasia Kingsnorth, I think I'm getting that right. She is incredible as well, she's so beautiful, I was watching her doing her moving house and I love that sort of stuff. And then Coney Jolie's, oh, they're just such a beautiful family. Um, and again I watched them when they were moving house, the renovation of their new house, and that's just, it's just such a fun thing to watch, watching how it was and how they have now made it. Yeah, so they are my five favourite YouTubers, YouTubers that I watch. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. We have four cats. Um, Oscar, Casper, Luna, Bruce. They are our four cats. And I'm sure you'll probably get to see them at some point. Tea or coffee? Tea, simple. I can't go a day without at least two cup of teas. I've had one this morning and I'll probably have one again in, after this. Um, have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? Um, this is a difficult one because I wouldn't say that I failed but I went to college um, October in 2016 to January 2017 so it wasn't very long but it was about an hour and a half train journey because it was up in London. Um, I only did two days a week but the days were so long I wouldn't get home until on a Thursday I didn't get home until about half nine, ten um, and on a Friday I didn't get home until maybe about half six um, so it was only two days a week but they were such long days and yet I loved what I was doing um, I was doing beauty therapy and then we um, had to, we have we had clients come in and that's when we had to start um, showing what we have learned on to clients. And I wouldn't say that I failed at it, but I, I didn't have the confidence to perform things on clients, so facials and like nails, I hadn't had the confidence to do it on clients yet. So I wouldn't say that I failed at it, but it was just something that I thought that I'd be able to do and then I wasn't able to do it and then another opportunity came to an apprentice TA at a primary school and I loved that and my confidence grew so much while I was doing that and I think that's was that was what the difference was was I wanted to do beauty therapy but I didn't quite have the confidence yeah but in the school my confidence grew so so much um, yeah, I think that's what it was, I just, so I don't know if that is answering the question correctly, what did I fail that and learn? Uh, so I wouldn't say that I failed it, I just would say that it just wasn't something for me and I thought it might have been. Um, so I think learning from it that I just, I didn't have the confidence that I needed to do it. Right, next question. Goals for 2019. So my goals for 2019 is to get my YouTube going, um, I aim to do about three videos a week I think, maybe more if I can, so yeah three videos a week, um, so that is my goal for 2019 is to just keep YouTube going and believe that I can do it because it's something that I've wanted to do for so long, yeah and just keep this going and believe that I can do it because it is something I have such a passion for and I want to be able to do it. Yeah, I'm just so excited to see where the future for YouTube goes for me and I'm, yeah, very, very excited. Um, another goal for 2019 is to not worry as much as I do. I worry a lot. I'm an organised person, but I think I'm sometimes a little bit too organised because when it comes I will start writing stuff down that's in my head that maybe I don't even need to worry about yet until the end of the year. So at the end of the year in October, my mum is getting married, 
um, and I've already got so much for that that I'm like, oh no, like I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Um, I think I just need to take every day as it comes and stop worrying about what's happening in October. It's good to think about it and be prepared about it, but don't let it sit and don't worry about it. I think that's something that I need to tell myself a little bit more. Yeah, um, so they are my main goals for 2019. Next question, how tall are you? Hmm. I think I am about 5'7", I want to say, 5'7". Um, I haven't been measured in a while. Um, if anyone asks, I always say about 5'7", so that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> something you love to do, and then on the end of that is something that makes you happy. Something that I love to do is singing. I love singing, and sometimes I don't even care if I'm bad at singing, because I love it so much. So yeah, that's something that I love to do, um, and it does make me happy. If there's something that you love to do and it makes you happy, then I say go do it. A confession. I can't dance at all. I don't have any sort of rhythm to my body, just I cannot dance at all. I really wish I could, but no, I, I just cannot dance. Favourite subject during secondary school? My favourite subject during secondary school has to be maths. And I know some people would be like, what? Maths? But maths to me was always like a challenge I was always every single lesson there was something new that we were learning and it was always a different challenge and I that's what I loved about maths because yeah there was a challenge that you had to do and you had to sit and you had to properly think about it and I think that's why I loved it because I was always so engaged and concentrated on trying to figure out the answer and especially in maths if there was something challenging I was always like no I'm going to do it like I've got to do this. Yeah, and then worst subject during secondary school. Mm -hmm. So my worst subjects, I would say, I had two was history and food technology. History, just because I wasn't good at it. I have no idea why I picked it for GCSE. Um, I wasn't good at it. I wasn't really a fan of my teacher, sadly. He was, it was a nice teacher, but yeah, and I just, and only when I started understanding history, so when I started putting in more effort into it, um, we were about a month off of our exam, so I was way off. Um, food technology, I loved food technology. Um, I didn't so much like my teacher. We didn't really get on. We did if we were both in a good mood, but she seemed to not like it when I was in a good mood, but she seemed to not like it when I was in a bad mood, so I didn't really know what to do. I just didn't put in what I know that I could have, um, and I think she knew that as well. She knew that I could have put in so much more, and that's why she was being so harsh on me, because she knew that I could do well, but I don't think anybody sees that when they're in school. They never see what teachers were trying to do for them. They never see why the teacher was having a go at them. It's because they know that you can do well. And it, it does actually mean that. Now I see that, now I'm out of school, I'm like, hmm, she was right. <laughs> favourite restaurant? Oh, my favourite restaurant has to be Pizza Express because pizza is my all-time favourite food and Pizza Express does the best pizzas ever. Yeah, I love pizza. And their garlic bread is incredible. What do you like to watch on TV? So, me and my mum love watching dramas, so all the sort of like criminal dramas, that is our sort of thing to watch. Um, at the moment we are watching Vera, that is brilliant. Yeah, that's great, Vera. I recommend that you go watch it. There is eight other seasons. I think it's four episodes each season. Yeah, so that's the sort of thing that we like to watch, and it's definitely something, yeah, I, I love to watch all those dramas, and you're sitting there thinking, who did it? Yeah, that's definitely my favourite thing to watch on TV. Um, is this your first YouTube channel? 
No, it's not. I had a YouTube channel when I was in, I think about year eight. Yeah, so I had a YouTube channel when I was in about year eight and trying to do a YouTube channel during school is never a good idea, which I found because you've got everybody making fun about it and that instantly sort of pushes pushes you down and that's how I sort of saw it. Everyone was making fun of it and I was like, right, okay, I won't do it. I sort of gave up. So from the age of about 13, I've wanted to do YouTube and only just now that I have got back into it, I've been out of school, I know that it's something that I have a really big passion for and it's something that I have wanted to do and I'm so glad now that I have the opportunity to be finally able to do YouTube and I have so many video ideas, so many video ideas coming up for the future and I'm just so so excited. Best thing about YouTube, the best thing about YouTube is there's so much out there, there is something for everybody and whether that's gaming, cooking, makeup, building, there is so much out there, there's stuff for kids, um, YouTube is just great, I think that's what the best thing about YouTube is, there is something for everybody out there, yeah there is just a wide variety of things on YouTube, you can watch anything really you think of it and it's probably on there. I think the other thing about YouTube is people watch videos because it's something they like to watch so if you like watching gaming videos it's something you like to watch and it makes you happy to watch them um, and that's what I want from YouTube is just to make people happy and for them to enjoy watching my videos and that's what excites me that people will be watching and they're enjoying it and it's making them happy that's all I ever want from YouTube um, is to just make people happy and to enjoy what they are watching um, because that's what I get from YouTube when I watch people that I um, like watching it makes me happy and I get inspiration from it yeah I think that's the best thing about YouTube your favourite food as I've said favourite restaurant was Pizza Express my favourite food has got to be pizza or my nan's roast dinner my nan makes the best roast dinner I must say right meaningful quote so my meaningful quote is live more worry less which is the quote that I am going to live by for this year because I am such a warrior so I need to stop worrying and just live a little bit live in the moment and I thought of a quote I don't know if this quote is out there somewhere but I sort of came up with it it was forget about the bad times in the past live in the present and look forward to your future I think that's what it was I may have got it wrong but I think that's what it was because you forget all the bad times in your past not people say forget your past I don't I don't say forget your past because there's so much stuff that happened in your past I just say forget the bad times in your past, they don't need to affect your present or your future, anything that happened bad in your past and just get rid of it, it doesn't need to affect you in your present and your future, just leave it, get rid of it, it doesn't need to be in your life anymore. Um, good times in your past, obviously you need to remember those, your childhood, all your friends, pe places you went, people you saw, all of that, that is in your past and that's your good past and obviously you can have that and you can keep that forever um, living in the present it's just live now and savour every single moment and look forward to your future you need to look forward to your future because it will um, mean that your present is how you want it so if you want something for your future you can change how you what you are doing in your present to have that future that's how I see it anyway so yeah that is my meaningful quote live more worry less yeah so that is actually all the questions that I have um, I hope you enjoyed this little get to know me video it's been fun filming it and I have some more videos planned for this week hopefully so make sure that you stay tuned to watch those if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you um, enjoyed this video and if you 
like the content that I'll be putting out, so beauty, fashion, lifestyle, if that is something that you will enjoy, then please remember to subscribe, and if you turn on the notification bell, then you will get a notification every time I post a video so that you will not miss a single one. How exciting for you. It's been so fun filming this and I cannot wait to be filming more videos for you. Yeah, I hope you all have a brilliant day. Thank you so, so much for watching. More videos coming soon, three videos a week, hopefully. Yeah, 